Okay, so the Trammell method um, is where all we need to use is a slip of paper. Okay, so it's very easily done. First thing we need to do is just pick a point, a reference point to work from on our slip of paper and we we'll call it point P. Okay, like that. First thing we do then is we put point P up to the edge of the major axis and we measure in to the center point. So we're getting uh, half of the major axis. Okay? And you can call that A, B, or C, or I'm just going to write major beside that. Are we all okay with that? Yes. Next thing we do, we go and we put point P and we get half of the minor axis and we do the same thing here, working from P again, put a little mark and this time we'll write minor, okay? Are we okay with that? Okay, and it's very easily done. All we gotta do now is make sure we keep the point that says major on our vertical minor axis and the point that says minor on our horizontal major axis, so it's kind of roll reversal. And once we slide along, you can see now, I keep the both points there, slide over, oops, and there's one point there, okay, slide along, and I can mark my points all the way along, so I'm working this way, slide along, Like so. That makes sense, lads? Yes. Now, I suppose what you need to be aware of, especially if you're planning on using this method in the junior cert, what are you going to need to do with the trammel? Yeah, so you, you need to, with your, with your tape, you need to tape it onto the question. And you, can you see how it's more accurate in that it, you can use it many more points than you would using the auxiliary circles method, okay? So in this quadrant of the ellipse, if we were using the auxiliary circles method, we would have had these two points here and here, and two more. So we would have had four points. Whereas in this, we can put in as many as we want, allowing us to get as accurate a freehand curve as we can. Okay, and excuse the freehand curve probably could be done better. Okay? And there's my elliptical curve. You can see there, it's so much easier to be accurate because we can put in many more points. Okay? Um, any questions? No? Okay. Uh, another tip for you with the trammel would be then, just in case, I would always put my student number or your name, but certainly, um, for the case of the junior cert, you won't be known as a name, you'll be identified by a number, so you would put your student number on the trammel, get your tape, and tape it onto the question, and that way you're ensuring that uh, it won't get lost in transit, okay? Easy? I think so.